Have you ever thought about what will the future of gaming be like? And when I say gaming, I mean how are the next generation of GPUs going to change our experience in gaming? Because let's be honest with ourselves, it's not like we need more performance from the GPUs, because the GPUs that we own have a lot of performance. We can argue that the price for the performance is not fair, but that's a topic for another day. So if we don't need more performance, what do we actually want from the next generation of the GPUs? Or maybe it makes more sense to make the question, what are the companies going to do to their next generation of GPUs to make us buy those GPUs because honestly even some really old GPUs can hold their own even with AAA current titles and they still look stunning. No need to change that GPU. To be fair, if you want to play at 4K, you will need something with more power, but most people won't be able to tell the difference between 1440p and 4K. And that's not because we are stupid, but the number of pixels is so high now it's enough for us. And even if we wanted 4K, we can do that with the current GPU. So what is the next step from that? 8K? No, I don't think so. And just hear me out. Until now, we judge GPUs mainly on their performance and that went well, because what features do you want if you can barely play your games at 720p? And the difference between 480p and 720p is major, so of course we wanted more performance. And the same can be said when you play games and you go from 720p to 1080p. The difference in gameplay is not as big as going from 480p to 720 but still you can't say that you can't tell the difference. But when you go from 1080p to 1440p, well at this point somebody will have to tell you to look for the differences, because if you don't try a bit to look for the improvements, you might not even notice them. And I am not saying that 1440p is not good, it is great, and images in 1440p do look sharper and better but it's not as big of a leap in experience as going from 480p to 720p. It just doesn't feel the same anymore. It's like going from a normal phone to a smartphone. The change was a big leap in performance. Everyone was excited. But forward to now, even though the improvements on smartphones are undeniable, we have never been excited about phones anymore. Because they didn't change that much. So this was a long monologue. And you probably are asking yourself, where is this guy trying to get it? And I am trying to know what is the next big thing in gaming. What will the next improve? improvements be, what will make us excited again, and I think it will have nothing to do with the performance. Maybe this year we can benefit from having more performance so the lower end GPUs can actually perform decently, but think 3 years into the future, what will and what should impress you, and performance doesn't seem likely. So the only thing that is left to impress you and me is features. And I have given this topic a lot of thought, because in the beginning and even now when you buy GPUs, we usually think about the GPU's performance, how fast it is, what generation it is and how many gigabytes it has. And if it is compatible with the games you want to play, but lately they pretty much all are compatible and they pretty much can play every game. If it is really old you might need to lower your settings a bit, but usually it will still run your games just fine and you should be happy with that. So where am I getting at? Well just look at what Nvidia is doing and just look at how smart that is. They know that people don't need all of that performance so they are focusing on features. Features like ray tracing and DLSS. And if you take a step back and actually think about why do we need more performance? And if you buy your PC mainly for gaming, the answer to that is to push more frames. But if you actually have the LSS, then you don't need performance. The GPU can actually generate frames itself. Right now, it is not perfect, but it is near perfect. If your frame rate is low, then it will help you, but the game will feel laggy. But if your frame rate is high, then it will only make the game feel more fluid. And the thing that I'm trying to get here is that if this gets better, and it will, especially now that the RTX 50 series is around the corner. But when that happens, you won't need more performance out of this GPU. You will only need an update that makes this feature improve, and then you will have more frames. Now let's get back to ray tracing, which is another feature of Nvidia GPUs, and other GPUs have ray tracing and have features similar to DLSS as well, but Nvidia is still better in features. That's why I'm only mentioning Nvidia, because AMD has FSR, which will boost your frame rates as well, but let's not get off topic. We all know what ray tracing is, and we all know that ray tracing doesn't actually boost your performance. In fact, it actually makes your frame rate lower, because now the GPU has to render additional things that previously it didn't have to, but why is this so important? And the answer is simple. It isn't important, but why not? The same why we don't need 8K TVs, but people that can afford them will still buy them, because why not? But in this case, ray tracing has evolved and now it actually makes the games look a lot better and feel a lot more natural because of how the light reflects. And what is the next step from ray tracing? That's path tracing and how it works. It's quite complicated, it reflects lights and then bounces lights from place to place and then there are some other things here, but basically it is ray tracing on steroids. It reflects light and it does that better and in a more realistic way, so you can enjoy the games you like even more and they will feel even more realistic. But that comes at a price of performance. And this is the most noticeable when you see how much of an improvement there is in pure performance in Nvidia GPUs and how much performance improvements there are in features. And there is where I'm trying to get at. Companies have realized that just performance is not enough. Now that's why we have companies like Nvidia.
Nvidia. They are investing in features and not in performance. We have the same case when we talk about the Meta. They are working on the Meta Quest, the VR headset. They knew that people didn't ask for that and they knew that making the Meta Quest is going to be really expensive because of how much money they will need to invest in order to come up with that kind of technology. That's why they didn't actually make money making the Meta Quest, but they know that once the people start buying VR headsets, they will be ready. They are trying different things. So when the time comes, they either are the best company and the first, or they are at least a good rival and start to make money. And now we have Apple that has started to make VR headsets, because even they know that the smartphone is not going to be the most important device forever. It will change sooner or later. And I think Nvidia is doing the same. They are trying different things and seeing what works and what people want, so people continue buying from them. Ray tracing worked, so they doubled down on that. The LSS, not as important, but now that people want to play games at 4K with mid-range GPUs, or if they want to play with pulse tracing, which consumes a lot of resources, the LSS starts to make a lot more sense. But what is the next step? The next feature that will make us buy those GPUs? Honestly, I have no clue. But I have an idea, and it is something that will make games even better than they already are. It will be something that will make even older games play and look amazing in modern devices. I mean, they already are doing that with ray tracing, and now they are doing the same with path racing. They are adding a feature which will make games look even better and even more realistic than they already are. But what is the next step? And this might not be it, but imagine this, Nvidia is already making GPUs that are extremely good when it comes to AI. Now imagine AI enhanced games, the possibilities are infinite. Imagine those PlayStation 1 games that were legendary, imagine those 2D games coming back to life in 3D with modern graphics thanks to AI. The game you love playing as a kid coming now with the best graphics with a smoother frame rate at a bigger monitor because as we know right now you probably can emulate older games and play them at your system but they will look the same as they did back then and there is a high chance that the reason why you like the game that much in the first place is nostalgia and the game concept because they just can't compete against modern games when it comes to looks and game mechanics but if you can take that game and add modern looks and better game mechanics but still being true to the original game story and ideas well then that's a different story your kids might even appreciate the games that you like playing. I don't know about you, but I don't feel like my future kid is going to appreciate me forcing him to play Counter-Strike 1.6. But if AI can enhance that gameplay and make it feel modern, then they should not have a problem playing my favorite games with me. And I know that Counter-Strike 1.6 is basically Counter-Strike 2, but in a world where Counter-Strike 2 wasn't developed, the RTX 7090 Ti Super might have been the solution for me. Anyway, this is just something that I was thinking about. But most importantly, what do you guys think of this topic? What do you think Nvidia is going to do or even AMD or Intel at this point? How is gaming going to change? I would love to hear about that in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and see you next time.